Hi everyone, welcome to Hotai's Kitchen. This is Hotai's Kitchen. Hotai is right there. <laughs> Let's go. He's sitting by the fish, he's guarding the fish. Quincy's not here, so Hotai's gotta guard the fish. <laughs> oh, he's doing the fish licking. <laughs> I will not lick Quincy. the fish. <laughs> uh, this is the little beauty we caught yesterday, and that's the big boy uh, I caught the other week. So what we're gonna do is we're going to process these fish. We're gonna fillet them up. We're gonna cut them up, and then we're gonna we're gonna do a dry brine. Is what we're gonna do. We're gonna smoke these fish with a dry brine. So let's let's cut them up. We're gonna walk you through it. We're gonna do it all together. We're here all together. Let's go. Let's fillet. Yeah. <laughs> that was perfect. You hear that? <laughs> we're gonna just follow the spine down along. And we'll cut off these little fins. Do it again on this side. There we go. There's the second fillet. We'll just cut it up into slices like that. Look at that. Oh, that's going to be good. So I'll slice up the rest of this and then we'll move on to the big boy. When you're cutting up salmon, I do like to put newspaper under it. It helps for the cleanup. Everything's not as slimy and fishy, so just do. If you want to do that, put some newspaper down. If you can, if you can find some newspapers, anyone read newspapers anymore? It's hard to find newspaper. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. Cut right back here and along. I'm gonna flip it around because that's the way to go, and we're gonna cut. That right on. I'm <laughs> just as excited as when I caught it. Whoa, look at that fish. So pumped. Man, he is. Glad I got my big knife here. Wow. <laughs> it's really in the zone. It was. <laughs> I started. Always watch the hands. Watch when you're cutting towards yourself. The hand up there. There we go. Bam! Look at that. Whoa, look how big that is. Right on. That is a slab. Oh, fish. Look at this. Scrape down here. You get all this meat along here. And that. You put in a separate little bit and you can make salmon burgers. You can make some of that uh, coho chowder. That's what I'll do a lot of times with, with the scrapings, but it's a good way not to uh, waste anything, especially if you haven't totally got it right down. It's hard because you're following this, this, this spine along here. So this is a little lower. So sometimes you miss all this when you, uh, when you fillet it. So but look at that. That's, that's a lot of good salmon coming off of there. So that's just a little thing I like to do, not to waste anything. Eat it all. So I'm gonna do that to the other side and I'll see you when that's done. Mm. Let's sit for it, wait for it. Oh yeah, that's a slab. Now we're just going to cut it up so we can brine it up. Oh, that's a good. Whoa, look how thick that is. <laughs> and leave this one whole like this. Be a big piece. Me and Quincy are going to devour this one. Because this is really thick, they say over an inch, you want to poke some holes in the back with a sharp knife. It's just so that can get in there, just so you can get the flavor in there. So, And then on the other side, you want to do some, just some little slices, some, not too deep, just just a quarter inch. You want to kind of run it with the with the ribs in there, so just like a little. Boop. You just want to be able to so the salt and the sugar and all that can kind of get into there and get some get that flavor because it's so thick as opposed to you know we're doing this. You don't have to, but look at the difference in that. It is so. With that, that's what we have to do. So we have to do that with all the pieces. 
Now it's time to make the brine. So we're gonna use brown sugar and kosher salt. You need to use kosher salt because you don't want iodized salt. Because there's a chemical reaction in there that doesn't work. So brown sugar, kosher salt, and the proportions are three to one. So three scoops of brown sugar to one scoop of kosher salt. And we've got all this fish here, so we're gonna double that. So we're gonna do six and two. And that's what we're gonna do. All right. Just do, uh, you know, not super flat. You don't have to. There's two, there's three, four, five, and six. Use a lot of sugar. And salt. With high pour. Oh, I shaking his head right now. <laughs> One and <laughs> it's for effect. Two. Two. All right, so we're gonna mix this all up. There we go. Use our hands. Get right in there. We are gonna cure this salmon. We're gonna also add some cracked black pepper, but we're going to do that. Uh, tomorrow when we pull it out and put it on the racks, we're going to crack some pepper on top of that. So right now it's just, we're going straightforward, simple. We're doing sugar and salt. You can add, um, you can do garlic, like sliced garlic, garlic powder in there. You do different herbs. You can really get creative what you want to do, but we're just going to do just kind of old fashioned straight. Taste the salmon, taste the smoke. So there we go. Also, um, to cure this, you have to use glass or ceramic or plastic or stainless steel, but you can't just use um, like other kinds of metals, like tin metals. What metal am I thinking of? Tin? Not tin. <laughs> aluminum, like aluminum. Because there's a, it have a, getting it all over me, a weird reaction on it. So you don't want that. So we'll put a little on the bottom. And put that in there. Cover this all up. So what's going to happen is I'm going to cover this all up, put it in the fridge, and in the morning, all this is there's going to be a ton of liquid in here because the salt. It's going to draw all the liquid out of the salmon, so it's pretty cool. It's science. Cover it up, seal it up good. And now, we'll put these in the fridge, put them in the fridge overnight for 12, 14 hours. What we could do also is in about an hour is open this up and then just kind of mix them all around just so um, they all get covered completely. So some will stick together, whatever. So pull them apart, rotate them all around, put them back in the, in the fridge, and that's it until the morning. So we'll see you in the morning. Welcome back. It is day two. The brine has been in overnight. So now he's just brushing some oil onto the rack so the salmon doesn't stick. You can use olive oil, you can use a spray, but that's what we're gonna do. We're using olive oil. Here is the salmon. This is what it looks like. Whoa, look at all that liquid. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. All that liquid came out of that salmon. That's what that salt brine did. Wow. So now we're gonna rinse cold water, icy cold, cold as you can get water. Give them a little rinse. You're gonna get some of this excess salt off so it's not super salty. And then we're gonna lay them on these racks and we're gonna fire up that smoker. We also have to, we let them sit. We don't, we're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this together. <laughs> <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. And then we're gonna eat it. Oh, and that's, that's what you want to, you know, firm that is. Nice. That's what's, yeah, look at that. Ooh. See this right here, look at all that excess salt. That's what we just want to rinse off. Eating that, yeah, too salty, so just a 
cold water. Bam. Now we're gonna do that for all these, all over there. We're not gonna make you watch every one, so we'll see you in a minute. Making bigger racks or smaller fish. Uh, bigger racks then. So I like catching the big fish. There's Quincy Bear. There's the bear. Good morning, Quincy. Good morning, Quincy. Look at this. Okay. Just in case. I'm get the shot. Too late. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're in, we're live streaming. <laughs> Say hi to 3 million people. <laughs> we're, we're live streaming, it's streaming for 14 hours. <laughs> it's a whole process. <laughs> Look at that haul. So now what we do is you let this sit out for 45 to an hour. So then it's gonna get all like sticky, kind of like a tacky texture. That's what we're looking for, because then the smoke is gonna really stick to that. So. 45 minutes to an hour. We'll see you then. Man, that looks good. Ooh, nice and tacky. That's ready. It's been an hour. So now we're gonna take it out to the smoker, put it in the smoker at 110 for one to two hours, two hours, couple hours. Yeah. And then after that, we're gonna do four hours at 140, and then we might take it out, do a little maple syrup on some of them, and they'll be back in for 20. But we're gonna get to all that. That's just kind of what's happening. Let's get to the stage where we put in the smoker. Oh yeah, let's fire this baby up. Quincy, turn it to medium. Okay. In go the alder pucks, biscuits, for smoke flavor. So we're at 110. Ooh, there we go. We hit it, it's smoking. Yes, where there's smoke, there's smoked salmon. <laughs> so we're at this temperature for two hours and then we're gonna raise it after that to 140. So we're doing it, we're on the first leg of the race, salmon smoking race. Been a couple hours, time to open the smoker, rotate the fish around and then increase the temperature. Poof. Whoa, oh, look at this. Oh, oh, conveyor, a conveyor belt moves it along, drops the old puck into the water. Look at that. We've gone through one, two, three, three pucks. Three pucks that are burning for about 20 minutes. One. Ow, it's actually a little hot. Makes sense. <laughs> He's liking it down here. Yeah, it's been smoking for somewhere around an hour and a half. We'll probably only smoke for another hour, but then just cook the rest of the time. We're yeah. talking about the little little pucks. This one has little pucks, yeah. or if you're doing a little dish of uh, wood, you're not gonna smoke it for the whole time. You're only gonna do like like two hours of with the wood in because the meat only can actually absorb so much smoke, so you'd just be wasting wood. So we're gonna do about two hours, and that's, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. So we're gonna set it, we're gonna the temperature going up to 140, and we're gonna leave that for four hours. Look at that. Sunset, this is an all day thing. So we are gonna check the fish. It's getting dark. We can still Three, see the fish. Two. Reveal. Oh, wow. Nice. You can't see anything on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> they look done. You can kind of do the tap like that. Feels really done to me. But another way to tell is we didn't take all the bones out. You just don't. But you can just pull them out. They pull out easy like that. Nothing on them. It's like sticking toothpicks and a cake on muffins to see if they're done. So those are definitely cooked inside, those are done. So we're going to brush these with a little maple syrup, do some more cracked pepper on there and put them in for 20 just to have that glaze. That's it. They look and they smell delicious. Like painting a tasty work of art.
Quincy, you excited? You look excited. <laughs> now just a little pepper. Now put it back in the smoker for 20 minutes. I'm good. We did it. Mm. We're done. It's finished. Our masterpiece of smoked salmon. Get a smoker. Do it yourself. It's very rewarding. And it tastes amazing. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yum, yum, yum. Let's go. All right. So good. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. So good. That really worked out. It's simple too. In the sense like what you put in there. Sugar, salt, and that brine. Cure it and then let it sit. Put it in the smoker. Then you choose different woods to have different flavors as well. But we went with the alder, the smoked alder. Man, that tastes good. So you can experiment, you can try different things. And then we just put a little maple syrup on there, some pepper. Look at that. Man. It tastes so good. The simple, I think the simple is really good with the smoke. Sometimes that's just my favorite. But you can really put different herbs and garlic and yeah. spices. Right. I'm looking forward to the next batch. Oh my gosh. Maybe experiment a little. Yeah, just to put it. once we get through this. Oh, and we'll get through this. Don't worry. <laughs> but, yeah, we're going to vacuum pack a bunch of it, put it in the deep freezer. It'll keep forever. <laughs> yeah, if you vacuum pack it and freeze it, it can last a couple of years. Yeah. So, and if you just keep it in your fridge, you got a, a couple of weeks. But, Thing is, it tastes so good. Probably not going to last that long. Oh, it doesn't last that long. I'm close. Not in my house. Me and Quincy. <laughs> <laughs> you take that down. All right. I think that's it for this episode. We're going to sit here, eat all this salmon. Not all this salmon. All this salmon. And maybe another piece. And that's it. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. If you like the video, hit that like button that really helps us out and that's it we'll catch you on the next episode forge on forge on, forge on everyone <laughs> quincy would you like some salmon mm -hmm. quincy loves cheese <laughs> and she loves salmon okay oh wait hold on hold on i can't see hold on I can't. oh god <laughs> this has gone horribly wrong <laughs> She's excited just like I am. Holy smokes, man. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, we dropped it. We'll get that later. Oh, yeah. You like the cheese? What's your favorite part? Quincy approved. We did. Oh, she's taking the whole thing.